so much for making time to speak with me. I know you have a busy schedule. Have you been doing a couple of? Have you and your sister been doing a couple of shows in Toronto uh, this week? Yeah, we've been we've been on the road pretty much for the last two months straight, but we're delighted to be back home in Toronto, and we're celebrating with a couple free shows downtown. We just played yesterday in Trinity Park Square, and we've got tomorrow at the Union Station, and of course, um, Young and Dundas on Friday. It's going to be a blast. And I will be, of course, the MC for that event. I'm looking so forward to introducing you, young lady. <laughs> How does it feel, though, to be part of that? Because um, Chevy Presents Indie Fridays has really become a huge event for the summer, right in the heart of the city at Young Dundas, mm-hmm. where lots of, like, a lot of people coming out for this. How does it feel knowing that you two are going to be part of something like this? It's really exciting for us. You know, we play sort of a blend of traditional uh, folk music from the east coast of Canada. So it's really exciting to to have this platform to bring a little bit of a different flavor. I know Indie Fridays, they're really amazing at bringing such a diverse collection of musical genres. So we're just, we're so honored that they, you know, wanted to include us. And we're so looking forward to the other bands as well. Dev and Cuddy, that's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, I mean, the crowd, we were passing by yesterday and we saw the stage and everything. It just looks looks like a real rock and roll show for sure. Definitely going to be. Now, you kind of mentioned East Coast. That's where you two are originally from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're from Nova Scotia, but we just sort of officially relocated to Toronto in October. So we've been getting to know the city a little bit and uh, we've been loving every minute. Well, you know what? We're so glad that you are now Torontonians. Um, <laughs> I'm just curious, were you guys here when the Raptors won the championship? No, we were on, believe it or not, on tour in Alaska, but every time we could get any kind of cell service or internet, we would be checking in on seeing the score, and everyone, it was so fun. Everyone was really on cheering Toronto on, all the fans um, at all our shows were so excited. They would be updating us every <laughs> every couple minutes, so it was really kind of like a, a community affair. It was really, I really love exciting. that. I absolutely mm-hmm. love it. Now, I want to go back to the music, though, because you said Celtic. Um was this was it that style of music that you grew up on? And then what was it about that style of music that really um, really resonated for yourself and your sister? Well, we did. As is pretty typical on the East Coast, we grew up in a really musical family, and um, all our cousins play the fiddle, and it's kind of just one of those stereotypical East Coast kitchen party type vibes. Uh, so it's very very much a part of our, our our heritage and growing up. But I think what really you know drew us to pursuing it in a professional capacity is just how accessible it is to audiences all over the world. It's, it's the type of music that you can't help but enjoy and, and have, you know, tap your feet, clap along to. And uh, so for us to be able to go anywhere in the world and bring this music that we grew up with and have people enjoy it is just so special. So we're, we're very lucky in that way. You know, not only are you tapping your feet, but it's also that style of music tells great stories. What kind of stories do you like to both tell through your music? It can be fun. It can be heartbroken. It's everything. Oh, you're so right. I mean, folk music, just all these songs that have been around for so many years, you know, there's got to be something there that makes them um, transcend the the boundaries of time. So we like to sing a lot of songs that have really strong female characters being a a girl duo. Uh, So we like to find these old songs where, you know, it's the, the, the female characters somehow triumph and they come out and get to have a happily ever after because it's not so common in folk music that you get uh, stories where girls get to have a good time. <laughs> Very true. Why did you both yeah. decide to make the move uh, to Toronto? Well, it's kind of an interesting story. We um, we came to do sort of like a business mentorship with Coalition Music and Canada's Music Incubator um, based here in Toronto, and they were really wonderful. They sort of sponsored us along with Bell Media to, to live here for two months and get to know the city, get to know the business landscape. And we totally fell in love um, with the city and with the just the vibe. And everyone is here to just do so many cool, creative things. Um, we decided we we put down some permanent roots, and we've we haven't regretted it for a minute since. And for folks who don't know, Coalition Music and Incubators they open doors for a lot of some of the biggest artists today. These guys know talent, and if you're hooked up with them. Then yeah, we know we're going to have a great show coming up on Friday. Um, you mentioned to me before we started talking that uh, you've recorded three albums, uh, mm-hmm. fourth one coming. Uh, what's the latest album right now that we can pick up, the latest one? 
Um, our latest one is called The Willow Collection, and it's a bit of a theme album. Um, we wanted to bring in different uh, folk music from different um, different parts of the world, but we needed kind of a uniting theme to make the album cohesive. So luckily, the willow tree is just across so many different uh, genres of music seems to be a uniting uh, theme, and the, the music that's written about these trees is always very beautiful and sort of heart-wrenching. So we, we used the willow tree as a, an anchor point, and then we did a bunch of research in different folk archives from all over the world, and we brought together this collection of, of music that is uh, the willow collection. Mother, oh mother, to bring me gold, to pay my Now, people should realize, too, you guys have amazing harmonies. Was it always <laughs> like that with you both from day one? You know what? Singing has been sort of a, a newer addition for us. We grew up um, in a very instrumental family, so I, we both started playing the fiddle when we were really young. And then Maggie graduated onto piano and then guitar. And when she started playing guitar, then singing was kind of the next natural progression. And she's really taken it and, and just run with it. Um, so the harmonies, it's its something that we work on and we're lucky that we're sisters and so we kind of have that intuitive ability to, to sing together, but it's certainly um, its certainly a work in progress every day where we're working and, and getting better and tighter. Oh my <laughs> how it goes. goodness, I don't know how better and tighter you can get. It's amazing what you guys are doing. Uh, so. so oh no, take a bow on that one. Um, you also, as I said earlier, mentioned that there is an upcoming album. What kind of feel is mm-hmm. that album going to be like? Oh, we're so excited for this. Um, it's going to be an all-original vocal album, which is a, a big step forward for us coming from such traditionally rooted backgrounds. Um, but we've been doing so much co-writing here in the city with some incredible writers. And uh, we take as much time as we can when we're on the road. We're always putting time aside to really sit down and, and work on new material. So we're we're almost there. We've got, you know... We're, we're getting to the, the finish line, and we've been in the studio um, for a couple of days here and there, and we'll be we'll be working on it a lot more this summer too. So we're hoping for a uh, well, I don't want to put a timeline on it because that's that's always the okay. The, Here, here's what yeah, I'm going to ask. Well. Let me ask you. I was just going to ask: Will we be able to use this new album as a stocking stuffer? Uh, for Christmas. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it depends. We, I mean, you can, stockings are traditionally for Christmas, but I think that we should just bring them into an everyday use. And, <laughs> you know, you can, <laughs> why just limit it to one day a year? It's such a whimsical thing to do. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So what's the performance going to be like? What are we going to be able to uh, take part in when you're performing at Chevy, uh, Chevy Music Indie Fridays? Well, um, we're going to be bringing all of our most lively and exciting stuff. So I'll be doing, we'll be doing some step dancing, uh, some a blend of like original, some new stuff that we've been working on, some new songs, and of course our signature traditional, uh, you know, folk songs that we grew up with and we love. So people will be able to sing along, to clap along, to to have a bit of a, a kitchen party on Young and Done Best. Can't wait. Please say yeah. hello to your sister for me. I'm looking forward to meeting <laughs> both of you. This sounds like it's going to be so much fun. Thank you again for being part of this, but thank you again oh, for doing this pleasure. interview with me. Lovely to talk to you. Take care. We'll see you on Friday. All right. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Bye. I have not come to see you, but today.